welcome back in the last session we were dealing with preparation of financial statement from ratio and financial statement include balance sheet as well as profit and loss account usually you may come across a question where you need to prepare a balance sheet so let's discuss some of the cases that comes under this scenario next case using the following information complete the balance sheet okay the information is are gross profit 54000 shareholders fund otherwise known as equity 6 lakhs gross profit margin 20 percentage and we have dealt the same situation in the previous session you know the meaning of 20 percentage what has to be found next credit sales to total sales 80 percentage actually this information is not required in this question because for the computation part this 80 percent is not considered in this question so for the time being we are not considering this information so don't get confused credit sales to total sales 80 percentage for time being for this particular question we are not using it because in the application case there is no such information regarding its usage of such information but in the examination whenever you come across this type of question you have to consider this 80 percentage during computation i will discuss why we are be leaving this 80 percentage this question so next one total asset turnover ratio 0.3 times inventory turnover ratio 4 times average collection period 20 days and in the bracket it is given 360 days so while dealing with the at us collection period equations there is a point where we are using time time represents the total number of days or number of month or number of weeks depends so if it is in days you have to take 360 that's why in the question it is specified 360 current ratio 1.8 is given long term debt to equity 40 percentage and apart from the previous question in this question it is directly given the items which have to be found see in the previous cases there is no information regarding these items has to be found this much items has to be set out in the balance sheet there was no such information but in this case there is information regarding what all items has to be found so it will be quite easy for computation but never expect this say this kind of easiness in the university exam they won't give the information like what all items has to be found it's up to your logical reasoning what all items has to be found out so let's deal with how we are going to prepare a balance sheet so before we go into computation you have to understand we will begin with something which can be linked to any amount here the amounts given are shareholders fund and gross profit so let's deal with that let's start with gross profit so on the basis of gross profit we can find number of items first of all let's deal with inventory inventory otherwise known as closing stock the both terms are used synonymously inventory is a term is a common term that can be used for raw materials work in progress finished goods as well as closing stock so inventory or closing stock both terms can be used synonymously so how we are going to find the inventory the equation in which inventory is there is cost of goods sold and gross profit amount that means cost of goods stock turnover ratio before we go into that first of all in the question it is said that gross profit is rupees 54000 and also it is stated that gross profit ratio is 20 percentage and we all know what is the meaning of 20 percentage because it represents gross profit is 20 percentage of sales here we know that gross profit is 54000 so we can directly substitute the same in the gross profit ratio equation that is gross profit divided by net sales into 100 that is gross profit ratio is 20 percentage it can be written as 0.20 when you are using 0.20 you have to remove 100 equal to 54000 divided by net sales you will get net sales 2 lakh 70000 so now we have sales 
So if we adjust net sales and gross profit, you will get cost of sales. So cost of sales is sales minus gross profit. So cost of goods sold or cost of sales is rupees two lakh sixteen thousand. Now we have cost of goods sold or cost of sales. So cost of sales or cost of goods sold is two lakh sixty thousand. And in the question, it is said that inventory turnover ratio or stock turnover ratio is four times. So the equation of stock turnover ratio or inventory turnover ratio is cost of goods sold divided by average stock. But for computation of balance sheet, you will be using closing stock because in the balance sheet we need only closing stock. No opening stock is required. So we are leaving instead of average stock, we will be using closing stock. Stock turnover ratio in the question it is said that it is stock turnover ratio is four times. So stock turnover ratio four equal to cost of goods sold which we have found now divided by closing stock. So closing stock is fifty four thousand. So now you found the value of inventory. Next debtors. In the question, the only information regarding debtors is debtors collection period or average collection period is 20 days, and it is stated that you have to take the time as 360. And the equation for average collection period is time divided by debtors turnover ratio. Average collection period is 20, so 20 equal to time 360 divided by debtors turnover ratio you will get debtors turnover ratio is 18 times. Now, debtors turnover ratio means credit sales divided by debtors. Since in this equation there is no information regarding credit sales, for the time being I am saying like that because during the computation part, the credit sales are is not considered. Only the total net sales is considered during the entire part of the computation part. That's why in the question while we were discussing, I said credit sale, that information is not required in this question. But in the examination, whenever you come across that type of question, you have to consider that credit sale. And in here, you need to use that amount of credit sale. For the time being, we are using net sale. So debtors channel ratio is 18 equal to credit sales or sales, net sale is 2,70,000 divided by debtors your Finally, the debtors is 15,000. Next one, total asset. In the question, it is said that total asset turnover ratio is 0.3 times. 0 0.3 times. So, total turnover ratio is, or total asset turnover ratio is net sales divided by total asset. We know the value of total asset turnover ratio and also computed the amount of debt sale so we can easily find total asset. 0.3 equal to 2,70,000 divided by total asset. So total asset is rupees 9 lakh. So next one, long term debt. In the question it is said that long term debt to equity is 40%. Long term debt to equity is long term debt of equity is the other thing meaning of long term debt to equity or long term debt divided by equity is 40 percentage. So long term debt to equity equal to long term debt divided by equity 40 percentage we can write 0 0.40 equal to long term debt divided by equity. Equity means shareholders fund. It is already given in the question. So long term debt is 2,40,000. Next one, creditors. See in the balance sheet, we need to find the value of creditor. So how we are going to deal with it? Here total asset is we have already found that it is 9 lakh. So total asset means total liability is also 9 lakh. And 
total liability equal to equity plus long term debt plus creditors because in the question if you go through the question see here liability side includes creditors long term debt and shareholders fund shareholders fund is already given in the question 6 lakhs long term debt just now we found the value of long term debt and total liability we can use the amount of total asset itself because the same amount will be the same so you can easily find the amount of creditors that's how we are used to use so total liability equal equity plus long term debt plus creditors total liability you can use this same amount 9 lakhs equal to 6 lakhs plus 2 lakh 40,000 plus creditors so you will get creditors rupees 60,000 next one Cash. Cash can, can be computed by deducting debtors and inventory from current assets. Because if you go through the question in the balance sheet, it is stated that four items has to be found out: cash, debtors, inventory, fixed asset. We don't have any information regarding fixed asset, and we are yet to find the value of fixed asset. So leave it. Next, we have debtors the amount of debtors we also com computed inventory also we computed so if we found the value of current assets and if we deduct these debtors and inventory from current assets you can easily find the amount of cash so for finding the amount of current assets you have to use the equation current ratio because in this question current ratio is given and we already found the value of current liability so we can easily find the amount of current asset. So current ratio 1.8 equal to current asset divided by current liability. So current asset is 1,8,000. And we already found the value of debtors. See, would be 15,000. And inventory or closing stock is for 54,000. Sorry, oh, 54,000. So just substitute the two values in this equation cash equal to current assets minus debtors plus inventory current assets we already found debtors plus inventory you will get the amount of cash so we are almost coming to the end of the balance sheet and finally you need to find the amount of fixed asset we can easily find the amount of fixed asset because we already found all the other items that are supposed to be found in the balance sheet. We, are, we have total asset and we just found the amount of current asset. So you will get the amount of fixed asset. Now you, you just need to prepare a balance sheet. Balance sheet as of certain company as on specific date you have to specify all those so the balance sheet will be like this first one creditors 60,000 we already found see creditors 60,000 long term debt and shareholders fund see shareholders fund 6 lakhs it is already given in the question and long term debt also we found out so you got the amount of amounts of items in the liability side of the balance sheet next you need to deal with the items in the asset side first one is cash we already found the amount of cash rupees 39,000 next one debtors we already found the amount of debtors 15,000 and also find the amount of stock or closing stock or in it can be called as inventory 54,000 so debtors and inventory and finally fixed asset this is how you have to prepare a balance sheet so just go through the cases each cases which we have been discussing are of unique type follow each cases familiarize the various steps which we have followed the method will be almost same only the difference is we may be dealing the same question with the different numbers so it will be quite easy you have to be very careful and be cautious while dealing with each type we will discuss other cases in the coming session that's all for today thank you